Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Snake Eye is still tier zero. Just now got done watching the finals and Snake Eye versus Labyrinth of all things in the finals. Snake Eye ends up winning YCS Rally, Carolina, North or South, whichever one it is wins YCS Rally. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most Avery LR32 here. Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button. Swing climb even higher, the 1400 ladder. Want to quickly talk about what has gone on with this YCS now that it literally just wrapped up. And of all things, I thought it was going to be Snake Eye versus Snake Eye. But in the finals, it was the one Labyrinth player running it back against Snake Eye. Both players hadn't won a YCS before, so it was cool to see the Labyrinth player really threw it, though. Um, in in his draw phase, he drew, he was getting ready to draw for turn, but he wanted to use the back jack. Obviously, when you're in a feature match, your nerves are going all over the place. The judges ended up ruling he had to draw for turn and couldn't use the back jack. That probably would have helped him win the game had they let him use the back jack. Just bad luck all around. I, I think the Snake Eye player maybe could have done some different plays, which it was crazy in game three because the uh, Labyrinth player tried to use Nibiru. Snake Eye player chains cross out Vanishing Nibiru and then follows up with Talents, hitting a card out of uh, the Lab player's hand. Absolutely insane. We also saw in Game 2 the Lab player using Full Force Virus after Flamberge brought out a couple of the level 1s. Uh, and then there was some other monster on the Snake Eye player's board and he just activated Full Force Virus, tributed one of the Ariadnas. The Virus cards need to be banned. Um, but more importantly... What is it that we saw out of this event? Well, at one point, what was it, like the top 16? Over 75% representation was some sort of Snake Eye deck, whether it was Cash Tira, Snake Eye, Pure Snake Eye, whatever. We saw DB Grinder make it to, what was it, top four, um, which was really cool to see. He was on uh, Cash Tira, Snake Eye. Um, but TLDR, the point is, is that Snake Eye decks are still tier zero, and I've been seeing some stuff online now where Borload Savage and Baron don't even really matter anymore because now they've been replaced with uh, Bysteel Dispater and Cyframe Lord Omega because you can use Omega to rip a card out of the opponent's hand, make Dispatter, get back the Omega, rip out another card. So we're back to looping cards out of the opponent's hand now, which is hilarious. So I guess Baron and Borload Savage don't even matter now. I mean, granted, Nibiru is still an absolutely amazing card, which was cool to see as well in Labyrinth where uh, the Lab player activated Nibiru chain one of the furniture cards, pitch the Nibiru, tributed off the entire board, and then the temple of the Snake Eye didn't get triggered to summon a monster from uh, the Snake Eye player's back row, which was a really interesting play. Reminded me of how Orcus would lock themselves in a dark in order to be able to use Nib, then keep it in the hand. Um, really interesting way to be able to play around Temple of the Snake Eye. But moving forward into this new format, you know, you have to keep in mind that we are getting Legacy of Destruction in just a few days. Actually, it becomes legal, I think, what, on the 24th? So even though Snake Eye is Tier 0, I do feel like it's going to be Tier 0 even moving into Legacy. But we're going to have other options for decks available to play. You know, we're going to have the new Lightsworn stuff. We're going to have Tempies. We're going to have the other Simple Spoil stuff that we get in Legacy moving into the snake eye deck so it's going to be interesting to see where everything falls in that regard um but other interesting decks that we saw in the top there was a flunder deck there was like three runic decks there was a plunder patrol runic deck in top 32 when you look at the top 32 specifically it was very diverse in the sense of obviously cat or cash tier obviously snake eye is tier zero but the other decks that have been able to keep up is very interesting to see what it is that people are going with especially something like plunder patrol runic of all things like plunder patrol seems to stick its head out at the beginning of every new format and then crawl back into the hole that it usually stays in for the rest of the format same with despia branded i feel like despia branded now that we've seen a couple branded decks top this ycs uh one was by steel branded one was despia branded in the I believe it was top 32 i feel like branded has become the new gladiator beast in the sense of for those of you who haven't played for years like i have gladiator beast was always a deck that people would go back to at the start of every new format because of how consistent it was tri brigade filled that slot for the longest time then once they got power crap now i feel like it's been tossed to branded again plus still being able to go sanctifier and get out gimmick puppet nightmare and just lock the opponent out is so busted sanctifier needs to be banned uh unless like for whatever reason they want to hit nightmare in advance before we get the new gimmick puppet ftk stuff and then you know that's going to run rampant but Overall, am I surprised that Snake Eye won? No. Could Labyrinth have won? Yes. People hate Labyrinth, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much more people play Labyrinth. Now that it just came in second place, it probably could have won um, had there not been some misplays and mistakes, but I get it. You know, when, when you're 
when you're in the finals of a YCS, you know, I'm one to talk, right? Like I've never been in the finals of a YCS. I've never even had a feature match. So I can't imagine the nerves that were going through both players. It's unfortunate, you know, you, you live and you learn from it. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how much more Labyrinth we'll see, even going into Legacy of Destruction format, uh, especially with Tempi, because as a Tempi player myself, I love the Labyrinth matchup because all I have to do is get set up with the field spell, and then I just Black Rose Nuke. You can't negate it because, you know, I've got the field spell up. So that's fun. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I just want to make this video real quick talking about the YCS. Snake Eye Tier 0, but this is version 2.0. Now with less Boreload Savage and Baron and more ripping cards out of their hand. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.